All right, I just kind of wanted to demonstrate how to emulate using the plugin pin connector in Reaper to emulate, because it's not actually happening, but kind of emulate doing a send and receive from specific points in the effects chain. So here I just have a little experiment I actually started last night. Just give me a quick listen. <laughs> Nothing too fancy, um, basically. This is the raw sound. Just a simple phase plant patch. And essentially what we're doing is we're running it through Valhalla Supermassive. Get that re-enabled. UVI plate. And then really what's going on here at the end in the snap heap instance is we are running a parallel chain and this is obviously the dry side basically a nice big washy patty thing and then here we are actually using multi-pass to basically uh, uh, do a transcape make rhythmic aspects based on the um, uh, frequency Anyway, an idea that I had based on a uh, comment from the video concerning this particular experiment actually um, was basically take the dry output from this and run it through a parallel chain and then actually bring it back in to the endpoint. So basically, we want to take this phase plant, dry signal, run it through a chain in another track not affected by the supermassive or plate, but then bring it at, back in before the snap heap so we can get the dry and then we can get the uh, rhythmic effect as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring over snap heap. We will add a tape stop. And what we're gonna do is we're going to trigger this. And we'll just do a random. And we'll just smooth whatever percent do remap give it a 25 percent chance of triggering and then we will use that to uh, automate the tape stop so as you can see it's stopping and starting based on this nothing too fancy so now what we want to do is how do we get this phase plant but nothing else over here so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pin out connector or plug in pin connector we're actually going to add two more track channels or basically get duplicate them so now we'll just want to make sure that it's not going okay to Three and four aren't going in. It shouldn't, but just to demonstrate what you're gonna be looking for. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring that over and then we're gonna send that three and four pair. And then now, Now what we're going to do actually is just solo this, so it should just be the dry phase plant going through this chain. Alright, as you can hear, it's obviously doing the tape stop thing perfect, just what we want. So now, how do we get this back in here? Okay, so we're going to kind of do a similar process, sort of. Um, Except what we're going to do, we're going to drag this back over and one and two is just fine because we're obviously not doing anything, any other, you know, stuff here that we need to pull it out in front of. And we're actually going to add two more track or two more channels to the track. So we'll add a five and a six. Now the way things are by default unless the io is set to zero out unmapped output channels don't do that um but basically what it should do is it should pass all the way through 
this is why I'm saying we're emulating send and receives at particular points because in reality it's coming in the top and it's going out the bottom regardless. But yeah, emulation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our channel mapper. We're going to stick it in front of snap heap. And you could really what you could do is in, in snap heap. Yeah, sure. You could, uh, uh, oh, actually that's something to think of. We just, while we're down there, disable that because snap heap does handle side chaining. So that could potentially cause some problems if you aren't careful and you were wanting to do some side chain stuff. But anyway, what you could do is you could say, pull in from the one and two, but then obviously the five and six, but it's not something that's easily, you know, you're not going to see it from the um, FX panel. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to do, take that five and six in and make it go out on one and two. And then um, you can leave it on pass through zero. It doesn't matter as long as you're not sending those additional channels up to the master. And then, so let's uh, give this a quick play here, see what it sounds like. Okay, so this thing's still going on over here. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to, obviously, again, a bunch of different ways you can do things in Reaper. You could obviously do it pre-fader, post-effects, just turn that down and leave that up, or... You could just leave it by default and turn off master send. And actually, so you can hear it kind of doing its thing, um, we'll just put that down. And we will, in fact, do just to demonstrate the point post effects pre fader. <laughs> And there you have it. You can hear the you can hear the tape map or the tape stop doing its thing. And then, of course, if you want, what we can do is we can just do a simple little. Uh, where are we at? We can just rename the effects instance. Um, rec from track to just so you know where it's coming from if you want anyway hopefully that's uh useful to someone